Today, Manning Field, the COO of Atlas Earth, held an AMA. He answered a lot of interesting questions, and I've got the scoop. If you play Atlas Earth or you're interested in play-to-earn games, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this. Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. If you're new here, think about subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, and everybody, please leave a like if uh, you get any value out of this. Man, this is a big one. I know I just dropped a video yesterday, but uh, I just saw this come across Reddit uh, today and I had to jump on. I was not able to make the AMA, uh, which was, uh, I saw it this morning, but due to work uh, timing, I was not able to hit it. Um, but as soon as it was over, I, I checked out the questions. I'm like, I've got to make a video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. What I'm going to do is cover the questions and answers from Manning Field, the COO of Atlas Earth. Um, and there's a bunch of different questions they spread across the game as far as what's coming up and things like that. If you're new here, if you're if you're just checking around for a new mobile app to make some money off of, Atlas Earth is definitely worth considering. Uh, check out in the show notes, I'll leave a link to a recent video I made that will uh, describe the game for you from nuts to bolts, exactly what it's about and exactly how to play it and make money out of it. Also, if you decide you want to play, please use my referral code also in the show notes. Uh, you will get 200 free Atlas bucks when you hit your 11th parcel, and I get 100 out of it too. So it's a win-win situation with you getting twice as much as I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so first of all, I know there's a lot on this page, and I've got two slides because there was a lot of stuff covered. And I thought about just going through and showing it to you in Discord. Um, or on the Reddit page, but um, it just seemed like it, it was better if I just took it, summarized it, and then we talked about it. So um, I will leave the link to the Reddit page that has all this information on it if you want to look at the full discussion, but this is the summary, and I thought this is the best way to present it. Okay, I know I'm going to hit a lot of things uh, hard and fast, and like I said, if you want more information, um, you won't get a whole lot of it, uh, more information out of the Reddit because I, I feel that I summarized it pretty well, but you can check it out. Okay, first thing is uh, map on the web is coming soon, uh, within weeks. Okay, a lot of people have been uh, questioning this. Hey, I would like to have a way of searching the map and checking out where people own parcels and things like this. Well, guess what? They've been working on it and it's coming soon. Searchable maps, views of boundaries, leaderboards. Now, check this out. He also dropped this. Selling parcels will be available on map on the web eventually. That's not coming uh, relatively soon. The map on the web is coming soon. Uh, you will not be able to sell parcels. That will happen eventually. And uh, as always, he pointed out that no purchasing parcels will be available uh, on the, the web app. So you'll be able to check it out, see where everybody's at, see the boundaries and everything, uh, especially if you want to go in and plan where you're going to go buy badges and such or parcels. Um, but you need to be there to actually buy the parcels uh, in uh, and currently sell the parcels in um, in the game. Okay, number two, Atlas Earth is a healthy business. Okay, this question was, uh, you know, we hear hear people talk about this a lot. Uh, how long do you think Atlas Earth is going to last? You know, people uh, legitimately have this question because they're putting their life into this, a lot of time and effort, and some people are putting a lot of money into it. So they want to know and have reassurances. So what's the uh, business status of the actual business, right? Um, and uh, my Manning said that Atlas Earth is a healthy business and there's nothing to indicate the app having any problems for the foreseeable future. Um, and he expounds on that a little bit and basically says that um, the team is really interested and is really gung-ho to keep the app growing and keep new things coming into the game as well as expanding the game across the globe. And so basically the point was they don't see any problems problems with a foreseeable future because as he put it, um, it's got a healthy business model. Okay, number three. Uh, this comes from a question about the customizations. We talked about this a little bit in another episode, but uh, people like the idea of being able to customize their little spaceman guy. 
Customizations are planned, uh, but uh, it won't uh, happen until most likely later in 2025. And he points out there is a reason, uh, another reason for that inventory tab that they added. And he kind of linked those two. Like you might have something that goes into your inventory that you can equip to your spaceman, you know, but he didn't elaborate any further. Obviously, uh, it's still in the works and he didn't want to get pinned down on anything. Okay. Uh, next item, staying private as they grow. Uh, okay, so this question was somebody was wondering whether they was going to consider about going public with the company so you could buy stock in the company. Okay, uh, his main point was they're still a little bit too small to go public. Um, they're staying private currently and will consider going public or selling to another company as time goes along and the need arises and we'll do the best for the company. Now, this is not him saying they intend on selling the company or anything, but as we all know, at certain points in your life and business, you need to make certain decisions, right? Uh, and if it blows up and a big company offers them a ton of money, sure, they might sell, who knows? Um, but uh, Nothing in his answer indicated that. They just said that they'll do what's best for the business and best for uh, the people playing the game. Okay. Uh, this is simple. Uh, this was a simple question and answer. Uh, Atlas Earth was launched in 2021, and he expounded a little bit on the, um, the guys who actually put the app together. Um, uh, they had been uh, together as a team and as a company for longer than that back in the teens. So, um, yeah, that's straightforward question and answer. Uh, next up, a new discounted subscription separate from the Explorers Club is going to be launching soon with launches and premium rewards. Now we've talked about these a little bit. We don't have a whole lot of details, but the main point is there is going to be another subscription uh, separate from the Explorers Club. It will cost much less than the Explorers Cl Club. Once again, no details, um, but obviously we'll be offering different types of rewards. But if you don't wanna pay the $50 a month, you'll have another option and you just have to weigh those out. The next part of that is the challenges and premium rewards are also coming in at the same time which we discussed that it's going to be kind of like a daily quest type system um, the daily login type uh, rewards log in and do a challenge um, and then obviously as we know if you've ever played one of these daily login reward quest chain type games there's also if you pay extra money then you'll get better rewards that type of things these type of things uh, have proven to pay off for these gotcha style games um, and I'm not necessarily calling Atlas Earth a gotcha style game but that is kind of one of the hallmarks of a gotcha style game so e either way that's coming in uh, next up topping off which is a, another big topic. People like the idea of being able to top off. So maybe you're getting ready to go to bed and you do your last uh, boost and it takes you to like five hours and 15 minutes instead of the full six hours. Um, the idea is to go ahead and top off to the six hours. Well, guess what? He put the kibosh on that. Um, he basically said that it's not currently worth the trouble for the development team. Uh, and if you want more hours to uh, boost, you should buy the uh, Explorer Club. <laughs> because why wouldn't he say that, right? Um, okay, next up. Team is growing, adding more personnel in all departments while taking advantage of automation to help with growth. The question was around um, the team growing and supporting more and more people, a wider user base across the world. And he verified they're growing uh, substantially and they're also putting automation, um, AI, I'm assuming is what he's uh, uh, going on about, um, uh, to use, uh, you know, to make solid business decisions, not hiring too many people that they don't need, etc. Okay, next up, we will go to this slide. Um, and uh, first item, Explorer Club members will have to pay extra for the premium rewards on challenges. So this was asked, um, and the question basically was, uh, do Ex Explorer Club members have to pay extra for the premium rewards? Yes, you will. It will be a daily, like we just discussed, a daily quest chain type uh, with the bonus if you pay for it. So um, yeah, so if you're paying for the Explorer Club, you will also have to pay for that if you so choose. Uh, he did point out that the daily rewards that are free free to play are uh, pretty good. Um, so um, there's that. Okay, uh, next item, support for other types of credit cards not likely due to qualification and upkeep costs. This was around the question somebody had about uh, uh, bringing American Express on board um, other than the Visa and MasterCard currently. So there you go. Uh, apparently it's the whole process of onboarding a credit card and, and jumping through hoops and the red tape uh, from country to country is fairly extensive. 
So there, uh, don't expect any other type of credit cards. Um, okay, next up, landmarks and auctions are coming in 2025. Of course, uh, we've heard that. Uh, I mean, I don't think they've, uh, I've only been paying for six months, but they haven't pinned it down, but they've been coming for a long time. But he said they're coming in 2025 and he's looking forward to them. Okay, next up, there will be a 40 Atlas buck per $1 conversion event happening at the end of the year. So look forward to that dur during the holidays. As you know, um, <clears throat> you can go in and convert uh, rent to Atlas Bucks at the rate of 25 per $1. Um, and once a month or twice a month, I forget, maybe once a month they have the 33 for $1 event. Well, at the end of the year, this is a once a year type event. They will be having the 40 Atlas Bucks for a dollar conversion. So if you have been doing the conversions, you might think about saving up for the end of the year and making better use of that. Okay, next up, further uses for diamonds, not likely. As usual, there's a lot of people asking, hey, there should be more uh, uses for diamonds. And I agree, I think there should be something else, but it's kind of hard to pin them down. Since, um, since diamonds are relatively easy to get, uh, it's kind of hard to come up with another use. Uh, as of now, the, uh, the only use for them is spinning your wheel five times daily, and he said there are you know, uh, no further uses for diamonds uh, are likely at this point. Okay, uh, next up, by November, uh, challenges, premium rewards, global leaderboard, and uh, the South Korea launch uh, should happen. So those are items on directly on their work list right now, and uh, he listed those as uh, expected to happen uh, by November. Okay, uh, next up, revamped profile in the works. So this was a little tidbit I pulled out of one of the conversations. Um, somebody had asked about uh, making a change on their profile and including something, and he said they're working on it. They're going to revamp the whole profile screen and um, expect that, uh, but he didn't put a date on it. Okay, no further discounts on parcels for Explorer Club members. Annual plans available soon. The question was basically shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, should Explorer Club members should get a uh, discount on buying large amounts of parcels. Uh, he put the gabosh on that as well, said no, um, but they are planning on releasing an annual plan uh, for those who uh, commonly subscribe to Explorer Club. And if you buy it on a year by year basis, as most subscriptions go, you save a little bit. So he didn't put any numbers out yet, but keep an eye out for that uh, if you are interested. Next up, Crypto payouts, not likely in next year. Uh, if you went to the payout screen, you probably have noticed that crypto and stock options have been on there for quite a while, um, but they're still coming soon. But uh, he specifically said uh, that they're not, the crypto uh, is not likely in the next year. Uh, okay, and the last item I have is uh, no caps for buying parcels, competition, and free market rules. Okay, this question was somebody uh, asking a question, would, would they put any caps on buying parcels? Because uh, recently we've seen a lot of people buying huge amounts of parcels, um, you know, to try and take leadership of different areas. Well, of course he's going to not put a cap on that. That's how they're making their money. I'm just legitimately saying that, you know. Um, that as well as, you know, we've talked about it before, all the advertising that goes through the app. So no caps for buying parcels and the competition uh, and free market rules. But he did expound on that a little bit and said that they are putting some other things into the game where he believes that it brings uh, a lot of value to those that are playing free to play as well. I know I just threw a lot at you, but I wanted to get that out there because I felt there was a lot of good questions and answers there, and I wanted to get it across to you. So uh, let me know in the comments section uh, what you're most looking forward to uh, out of all that conversation uh, coming to the game and any other things you got going on in the game. Um, as always, I try to answer your comments and questions. Uh, just keep them nice, you know, uh, be nice about it. So anyway, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you in Atlas Earth. Mm -hmm.